This video was created under Funcom's rules, using assets from the park and is not endorsed by or affiliated with Funcom. Thank you Funcom for making this awesome horror game experience. What's going on? I'm Adi Banjo, and welcome to the park. So, this is a game where we play as a woman named Lorraine, and we are searching for our son named Callum. Uh, I'll probably be corrected on the pronunciation here shortly. Uh, and we have lost him, or I don't know, but we're looking for him in this dilapidated park, and... The park was founded in 1977, has experienced a series of unfortunate tragedies and uh, killings, hauntings, things of this nature, and I don't know how much of that, that's, that's, that's basically from the description of this game, so I don't know how much of the backstory we're actually going to see and hear, but... This should be fun. This should be a scary game. It's it says uh says it's not the the game isn't really focused on combat or action. So hopefully it doesn't fall short on scares. Or maybe hopefully it does. I don't I don't know. I I don't do scares too well. But um let's do this. Park, the park is a narrative experience, best played in a dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing. During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio control settings, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not be any cause for alarm or... What, what was that last word? All right. Oh, intro time, okay. Funcom presents. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. I like her bow. Pretty. Oh man, and those Stay jeans. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Oh. I, 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 I was. I thought it was all cinematic. I'm just sitting here waiting for it to do stuff. Is Callum lost at this point, or is Callum still here? Callum, hi there. Hi. You're not gonna disappear, right? So I'm just I'm just gonna leave and you're you're gonna be fine, right? Right. Okay. Oh please tell me there's a run. Attention patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees prepare the park for shutdown. There's not a lot of other people here. Press OK. Let's try this. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island. Solom Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after. Yes, infect them with the laughter. Dedicated this first day of May, 1977. James B. Longley. Okay. How, how do we... I am stuck. How... People, I'm, this is right mouse button, left mouse button, 
arrow w w a s d w a s d arrow keys spacebar let what the hell uh so i hit escape what the hell and now it lets me move i'm not stuck anymore let me try that again just cuz okay it was just some glitch i don't know why it why it held me captive there but Apparently, going to the menu fixed shit. Okay, what's our obje objective? Do we have a journal? J for journal? No. Let me in. Ah. If at first you don't succeed, push harder. Okay. Oh, there's somebody here. Let's get information. Or tickets. We're flipping the hell out. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop. I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. You think? Didn't you just yell stop at him? What do you mean you think? Oh, here we are. Um, really? You're not gonna, like, fucking Amber Alert or some shit? Like, this is... Come on. A little help, maybe? You're just gonna let us wander around by ourselves in the park. Great. Shouting provides audible and visual clues to guide you. Wait for mommy, Callum! Oh, weird. Come on, this way. What? Weird. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Catch me, mommy. Okay, so that that little warpy thing, I get, I get it. Okay. Atlantic Island Park. Welcome to Atlantic Island. When I first came, to blah blah blah. I wanted to create a place to catch. Chad the Chipmunk. For the little ones, try the Tunnel of Tales for a gentle, family-friendly retelling of timeless fairy tale. Boring for the teens. Pump up your adrenaline by going through this, a spin cycle on the Octatron. Hell yes. Then defy the laws of gravity on our award-winning roller coaster. Finish it all up in the House of Horrors. I think this is for us. But be warned, it might scare all the fun out of you. <laughs> oh, not possible. For the big ones, take a romantic spin on the Ferris wheel. Significant or significant other, take natural beauty. Take in the natural beauty of Solomon Island. Follow it up with a stroll. Blah blah blah. Um, okay. Nathaniel Winter welcome you, welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. Oh, wow. My goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we haven't checked the restrooms. Staff only. That's for us. We're staff. It's cool. Nope. We're not staff. I didn't go before I left. No. Alright. Escalator it is then. We're going in, Mr. Winter. Oh, who does he remind me of? Uh, uh, Christopher, Christopher Walken? Yes. Can we just ride it the slow way? We There's can ride something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. She's kind of poetic, side, huh? The apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. That's some deep shit, girl. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees. Can't go fast. Have a safe journey home. That Somebody should call some but that doesn't look safe. That's a, that's a fucking fire waiting to happen. What the hell? Uh, uh. 
Well, that was fast. This doesn't make me feel good right now. I'm feeling not so fresh. Oh God. The park. The fuck? What happened here? Yeah, dude, this is... I thought it was an active working park here. Oh, there it is. Shift. Finally. Thank you. I thought it's I tried to get lost here. I thought I tried that before. Okay. Um w Where are we? Oh, we're that we're the little star there. Okay. Sideshow Alley. So to the left is the House of Horrors. Well, I think we should probably go there first cuz uh fun. I'm not going to remember all this. Hopefully there's more of those to help us. Actually, what's this? Do we have a flashlight? F for flashlight? No? Okay, I guess we're not meant to go there. Stop! Callum! Callum, what are you doing? Don't be a wiener. Oh my gosh, when I catch you, I'm going to beat your ass. Where are you going? Wait for mommy. Oh, looks like we can't go after him. Damn it, we're losing him. I wanted to go into the House of Horrors, but Callum's being a little little douche. Callum, stay where you are. Over here. Don't hide from me, Callum. Come on, mommy. Come on, where? What the hell? I think this belongs to Kelm. Well, he's not gonna get far now. Hello? Over here. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. <laughs> Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Well, Stop. Callum. don't feel too bad, Chad. Hey, that's mommy. that's a lot of people. Okay, jeez, Callum. Oh, what's this? Purchase the land on Solomon Island for a pittance. I might add whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locales. Just. The mention of this name had people sh slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The l Can I... Get this closer. Shit. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have a great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect. I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. Well, okay. But why is this note just, like, here? Oh, let's... Okay. Callum, where did you go? This way. This way? What? Where are you? Where are you? Is that a boat? Callum. Callum, stay where you are. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Come on, Mommy. Why would we just get on this... He sounds very close. Why would we just... Stop, Callum! Yeah, let's just fucking just get on this one, even though Callum's nowhere to be seen. Let's just... Uh Where are you? Uh, 
My god, Callum, you're being such a wiener. Dude, stars are so beautiful tonight. Bye, stars. I guess we're going into the fucking scary place. I guess I guess every ride here is the horror show ride, is the, the, the haunted house ride. <laughs> Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel, and a girl named Gretel. Oh, I know this one. I already know it ends. You don't have to tell me. Very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, no my wife, I cannot do that, no, said go? the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. What's that? Oh my god, I don't like animatronics. The next morning, it looks like the chipmunk. The children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Oh, that's so nice. Hello. Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. Uh... In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Where's the exit? I'm done with this ride. It's stupid. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. I can't call for Callum right now. Able to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. I think I should probably turn up the brightness on this in the next episode. The children stumbled into a clearing because I can't see Dick. I mean, I can see a little bit, but not very its well. Walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear. We're supposed shimmer. to do something here. Hansel. Desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. I really like the look of the place, it's just... What's going on? Nibble, little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Hello? Oh, dear children, who brought you here? Do we have to hear this whole story? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. She has something for us. Is it candy? The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged. No, children, thank you. Still licking their sweets, followed. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. What's going on? She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your 
brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel sure, you never liked him anyway. To understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. <laughs> slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel. And together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged... The children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled. <laughs> well, at least they're cooked. thorough. They're thorough children. Never burn someone alive unless unless you're sure they're dead. Because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Never heard that ending before. Kind of an interesting twist. Well, I gotta say. That ride was pretty lame, but, uh, you know, I, I liked... What the fuck? How do I get off this boat? Uh... Go... Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, just pull up here, duck. I want off. I'm swan. I want off. Let me the fuck off this ride. Hello? I'm done. I'm ready to go. Thank you. Achievement. Swan, ginger, brandy, and chocolate. Okay. All right. Well, that was super exciting. Okay. So, uh, I think this would be a good place to end this episode. And, uh, I don't know. I, uh, I like it so far. I mean, the pacing is, is pretty slow, but, I mean, the the environment is great. The sound production is really good. Um, the, the the creepiness is there. I kind of like that, and it's it's very subtle. There, there are some some uh, some jolting things. They they didn't really get me too bad, but the it's it's the subtle creepiness, like the like the swan turning its head. That kind of that kind of got to me. So. Um, yeah, let's let's pick this up in the next episode and uh, see where that little bastard Callum went off to. Who is getting? He's no doubt going to get us in all kinds of trouble. But uh, until then, have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>